The new scheme is called Prevent. Its objective is providing support for local authorities, schools and community groups to counter violent extremism. A particular concern is that young British Muslims may be drawn into radical groups inciting violence. Well, it's really all about trying to build young people's resilience to the extremist message and giving young people the confidence to be able to challenge extremism and for them to feel secure about you know, their version of Islam, which is about peace and tolerance, and to be able to reject extremism. And here today we've seen some really good practical evidence of what that really means. Already underway are community-based leadership schemes for young people. They provide opportunities for exchanging ideas, especially with those outside their local community. We were given leadership training. Um, we had the privilege of getting that leadership training with the Ministry of Defence. Um, and uh, then we came back to our own communities. We engaged in discussions and debates with local politicians, local imams, the US State Department, um, the US military, British military. Extra funding will now be available. Around 200 schemes are already in operation among 70 local authorities in Britain, but the new plan will bring extra support. In my department last year we had just £6 million to spend. Over the next three years we'll have £70 million. And I want to make sure that all of that money is really well spent in making sure that young people, women in particular, have the confidence to be able to challenge extremism so that really we can drive it out and have a really strong community. Shireen Kadir recently graduated in law from University in London. She has a different perspective, having taken part in the Young Muslim Leadership Scheme. In the current climate, as you know, Muslims are being, uh, have been given a very negative image in the media. Um, so, so that's what I mean by young, angry Muslims. I was there myself once. When you see people being blown up on TV, it does make you angry when they're Muslims. And then we, we've, been, we've been, as a result of the leadership program, we've been taught how to kind of, you know, deal with that in a more positive way, to respect other cultures, other faiths. As much as it is about preventing a growth of violent extremism, the scheme is also aiming to ensure that individuals and communities feel engaged with civil society, allowing for differences of opinion but expressing them in peaceful terms.